Now, Kenya is renowned globally for its tourist attractions, but it seems Uganda is up for the famed title in the region with its latest proposal. The Ugandan Ministry of Tourism has added curvy and, I mean, I'll use my hands, curvy and sexy women to the list of tourism products. While unveiling the initiative in Kampala on Wednesday, State Minister for Tourism Godfrey Chiwanda said a beauty pageant dubbed Miss Curvy Uganda had been launched to select curvaceous women. The finalists will be selected in June, apparently, and here's a report from NTV Uganda. On Tuesday, 5th February, a little known businesswoman, Annie Mongoma, whose stint as a rally driver is now probably faded in memory, launched this beauty contest at a hotel in Kampala, Uganda. It is called the Miss Kavi Beauty Pageant. The event did not attract much attention until the videos were uploaded on YouTube and later shared widely on social media. There was a storm with women activists up in arms criticizing the organizers for objectifying women. However, the CEO, Miss Kavi Uganda Annie Mungoma says the criticism is unnecessary and misinformed. Just like any other beauty pageant, Miss Uganda, Miss Tourism and all, now here comes Miss Kavi with the main objective of celebrating the real plus size ladies. She says the contest gives Kavi and well and old ladies an opportunity to showcase what they have and their other abilities. How come when we are having these pageants for the slim bodied, the, the, that is not prostitution. Why are they rejecting the curvy the curve ladies? While the fuss has centered around objectifying women as a tourism attraction, Mongoma says her project is not just about tourism, but more importantly, allowing curvy women to express themselves and not feel as though they are good for nothing, killing their self-esteem. However, State Minister for Tourism Godfrey Chiwanda, who launched the Miss Kavi Uganda contest, emphasized that the ladies would help in promoting Uganda's tourism. When you say Uganda woman, concentrating on the West, the West, there is a story about that, and that's the story we sell. We are naturally endowed, heritage-wise, color-wise, beauty-wise, to have a shade that God gave them to me. Meanwhile, a group of legislators under the Uganda Women Parliamentary Association have demanded the cancellation of the Miss Kavi contest and an apology from the junior tourism minister. I want to call upon leaders to help denounce this kind of, event, of events. We strongly condemn the act by the Honorable Minister. I therefore demand for an apology from the minister. The MPs and other activists asked the minister to find other ways of promoting tourism instead of reducing women to tourism attractions. Things. This country is blessed, very many green vegetables everywhere. He could talk about those. Why is he zeroing down on women? Does it mean his mind is female-centered? Honorable minister, if I could get you. However, Mongoma vows to proceed with the pageant until the winner is announced. The Miss Kavi contest has been held in other parts of Africa, including Nigeria, South Africa, Namibia and other continents. The latest contest was held in India as Miss Kavi World. Jumakiria, NTV.